So I had an idea that they're all going to die, and I might have talk my life and interests, and hopefully someone in the future listens. Let's go! Oh. Okay, right. None of that was true. But, because I put it really quickly, and in really big text that I have trouble reading, you believed it. Well, hopefully. Because I'd believe it. And that's what I've been thinking about lately. What the hell is YouTube? <laughs> Seriously. Like, there's so much, co well, content that's just so bad. I don't know if I'm the only one who notices lately, but the quality of what happened to this site is went down so much. I mean, so, so Like, I'm not saying I make good videos. I'm literally playing Rocket League. Badly. But. Yeah. Look, here. But here, here's why I think it's gone down. You know, but people are always talking about, oh, YouTube algorithm, YouTube algorithm. What if the YouTube algorithm is the reason? What if, since people, a lot of people, can't make videos they want, and I, I have friends that do YouTube, because they're scared that they'll just get absolutely destroyed by, I don't know, YouTube. This And the reason I'm talking about this is, because they're really, like, serious about it. They're like, oh my god, this is my future. And I'm like, boys, I have a bedroom. And I know this doesn't really make sense. Because I'm literally talking about myself. But do you think that YouTube original premise was just to distract people and just not to make actually good content. Like, I could go on Netflix and find something with a lot more money and a lot more production production value. Not good. Very not good. Some may say the show with Addison Ray in it. I agree. But, like, even that level, you don't even see it on YouTube anymore. Like, I, I haven't seen a documentary come up in years. And that, and the last time I did, the guy literally had relations with his cat. Like, there, there's, is there something about talking to the internet that turns people that loopy? Yeah, but anyway. So, I'm 99% sure the way YouTube is set up for basically companies is the reason that I'm not getting good content and I don't want to buy Amazon Prime or Disney Plus I'm not that rich I, I am literally in like a one-year college course doing science actually yeah. very fancy it's biomedical and pharmaceutical science which is basically the leaving search sciences. What we don't talk about. And I don't have to try hard maths at all. At all. That's actually really unfair. I know. You know used to use listen to this. They put me in the lower math class. And I'm not even bad at maths. Like I'm telling you. I'm keeping up. In this higher level maths course. And they were like, no, you could never do this in literally secondary school. What is it about one year that suddenly makes me eligible to be good at maths? I do not understand. This is absolute disgraceful. And I shall be having a word with Michael D. Higgins, the president of Ireland, also known as our king. Okay, if anyone doesn't know, Michael E. Higgins has about as much power as me going to the shop and demanding everything. 
If they're just gonna be like, no. That's called Leo. Leo Vradker. I think he, he's gay, and apparently we get celebrated for that because we're very inclusive since we had an Irish president and a gay, what's it called, Taoiseach, which is basically the Prime Minister or the President of America. Well, I'm not really going to culture myself more, but yeah. So Leo is very gay. I've seen him on top of a bus holding a rainbow flag. Well, people were holding quite other things that had rainbow one in the same photo. I, which he was very much in support of. Like, same, but... I don't know, it's not really what you want as the figurehead of your country to be on a bus celebrating with interesting items, which I generally cannot say. But I, I feel like you use, can understand. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure I won this Rocket League game. If that's anything, I'm very good. See me doing multiple flips. That's about it. Alright, well, good luck.